have a younger base, we don't have a tax base. So there's some serious issues that have to be addressed. We have to start thinking outside the box. We can't use our old, um, let's see, old strategies relying on Ottawa for tri like a triple down economy. We have to come up with innovative ideas. And we're not going to be doing this section <clears throat> like we normally would do a section in a classroom. Mrs. Roach, Mrs. Murray, they're not going to get up in front of the class and teach this. We're going to let you take the ball. We're going to let you run with it. You're going to be doing two weeks that you're going to be doing the work. You're going to be engaged. You're going to be engaged in, in a collaborative learning environment where you do the work. This is learning for the 21st century, which is really a segue <clears throat> into the innovative side that we have to start thinking in order to try to generate some jobs so that we can have jobs for you, that our economy can grow, and that you'll be able to, if you decide, to stay in the maritime provinces. And that's kind of where we're leading today. This is our kind of our, our starting point today. We're here <clears throat> at CBU, where there's an awful lot of innovation. There's an awful lot of projects that you probably have no idea go on here. And we're going to use today's session for the next two hours. We're going to have a little tour. We're going to have a presentation, a tour of some of the innovative ideas to get you kind of, just to, to get your mind into the project, to show you that there are innovative people, innovative ideas. Uh, take those, keep them in your head, and then when we go back for the next uh, two weeks, you may want to look at one of the ones that we have today and look at the viability of that, or look at something yourself. Okay. Uh, but we're also looking at how our impact on the, the environment uh, could be reduced. The, 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 uh, the carbon footprint or the human footprint. Um, there's, there's several different ways that uh, that can be uh, measured. Travels out through these tubes here, up to about that high, and then it turns around and goes back through the tubes and then out the flue. And that's just to create more uh, heat in the water. And so that, that we can uh, fool around with the fire a little bit. But it's very, very simple. Um, and it really is working well. Um, the only drawback is on a day like today, when it's minus whatever and the wind is up, the pellets just won't, won't do it. We have to turn an oil furnace on to supplement it. We turn it on for about 20 minutes, and then we're good for two or three hours. Uh, 190 degrees. Well, the water temperature is. I have no idea the heat. But, uh, yeah. Got no undercover people at the school? No. No. There's one in Victoria. And those particular planes, I mean they they can easily extract a lot of this with the right technology. And then to use this uh, this one. So these particular that's a lot of the wastes here are essentially resources that can be drawn upon and develop new products or markets. Breaking news in Cape Breton Island, there has been a breakthrough in economical technology, mine water management. McKenna, would you like to tell us more about mine water management? Mine water management is routinely listed as one of the top global challenges facing mine development, production, and closure. This strategy cleans the water in the mines and puts it to an environmental use. Successful mine water management can mean the difference between operating at a profit or a loss. By the end of this presentation, you will have a great understanding of what mine water management is. Now, Kelly, what are some benefits of using mine water management? I'm glad you asked, McKenna. 
There are more than 75 billions, billion gallons of water sitting in all mine shafts under the community. No matter where you drill a hole under the tans of Glace Bay, Dominion, Reserve, or the Gardener, you hit water. In many cases, mine water requires little to no treatment before it is released into the environment. In fact, treated mine water has been used as an additional drinking water source in Eng England and Africa. In addition, mine water management is environmentally friendly and will employ many people. So, what would happen if we didn't do it, Emily? In Cape Breton, we have 3,200 kilometers of underground mines that are either flooded or in the process of flooding. 3,200 kilometers is the distance between Calgary and Halifax. As the mines flood, they discharge water into our ocean water, groundwater, drinking water, and surface water. In mine water is 250 billion liters of anoxic water contaminated with sulfuric acid, dissolved iron, and other heavy metals. If we use mine water management, the risk of our water being contaminated will likely vanish. Let's hear what Dr. Martin McCandewear has to say. Hi, my name is Madison Vokey, and I'm Taylor Strong, and we're from the Renewable Energy Fund of Cape Breton, and we're going to be presenting our idea about renewable energy to the dragons today. We're kind of nervous, but I think we'll get through it. Hi, guys. So tell us again, introduce everybody here one more time. You are? I'm Taylor Strong. I'm Madison Vokey. I'm Sarah Brewster. I'm Olivia Snow. I'm Katie Parsons. I'm Nicole Napoleon. Okay, guys, and anybody watching this, what, what kind of fun did you have doing this project? How does it work out? So much fun. It was a lot of fun. fun. Yeah. Very entertaining, nerve-wracking, nerve yeah. and <laughs> there are a lot of things about Cape Breton that we didn't know before. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good day. Thank we'll you. you. I'm standing here live with, well, sitting here live with, uh, Future Duncan Miner, Buddy Leroux. Buddy, how you doing? Good fella, how are you? Ah, uh, too bad, boy. So, um, what is the potential of the Duncan Mine and what could it bring to people? Well, Jack, in the past, we all know this mine has produced tremendous amounts of coal and profit to whoever had anything to do with its success. And I do believe history can repeat itself. That's good. And, uh, what would you say the employment, the, like trying to get people to fill the jobs would be like? Well, Jack, I believe finding people to fill these jobs would not be very hard. I think many people would rather work from home than Alberta, be closer to their families. That's good. And uh, final question, how would you transport the coal from the, uh, from the mine into Sydney? Because... As you know, in the past they tried to barge it, but they uh, they got in trouble with the fishermen and wrecking wreck the fishing ground, right? I think it would be a good idea to transport the coal by train. There are plenty of old trails from past and railroads, and these paths will save money and time. All right, uh, that's all for now, and thanks. You're welcome. There are numerous jobs in Cape Breton that are available. There are genres such as folk, Celtic style, hip hop, rock, country, bluegrass, punk, and metal. Some big names that came out of Cape Breton are Rita McNeil, Douglas Cameron, Buddy McMaster, Jimmy Rankin, and Matt Mimbley. What jobs are available? Uh, there's lots of jobs available in the music industry. We have producers, videographers, designers, directors, Planners and organizers, promoters, managers, pre-show entertainers, bartenders will get more service, there's songwriters, advertisers, instrument designers, and DJs. Who supports music in Cape Breton? Cape Breton Music Industry Cooperative, or CBMIC, has over 100 members and is on the rise. To be a part of this organization, you need to either live in Cape Breton or be born in Cape Breton. Also, CBMIC is a nonprofit organization. Uh, Undercurrent Youth also supports music in Cape Breton. They do so by hosting. Hi, my name is Corey, and I'm going to play a song.
7th, 2015, over here at OVAC, and we're going to do a project today on mine water management. Mine water management, even the boss makes a mistake, so just get a shot of this poster set up here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, one shot. Hi, my name is Megan McNeil. Hi, my name is Erica Johnson. Hi, my name is Carrie Sacre. Hi, my name is Gracie Handerham. Hi, my name is Rebecca Parsons. Hi, my name is Marley Boone, and today we will be talking about mine water management. Although many people don't think mine water management is important, it plays a huge role in Cape Breton. It's very concerning. Becca, will you explain mine water management, please? Mine water management is a minimal maintenance geothermal repurposing and nanotechnology based water purification system. Coaling generations of Cape Bretoners. As a result of these mining operations, there is now an extensive network of abandoned tunnels stretching from Point Oconee to Duncan, extending deep under the ocean floor off of the Cape Breton coastline. The Sydney coal field is the largest coal source in eastern Canada, stretching from Cape Breton to the southern coast of Newfoundland. For almost 350 years, it fueled the coal industry of Cape Breton until the last underground coal mine, Prince Colliery, seized operations in 2001 after more than two and a half centuries of coal mining. Less than 5% of the coal was used throughout this time. When mining activity ceased, so did the pumps, with groundwater gradually filling the excavated spaces of the former underground mines, forming what are now known as mine pools. Here is Carrie with some facts. When mining operations seize, collieries flood with groundwater. As water comes in contact with the coal face, it is contained in remaining coal. A pirate is dissolved, releasing metals causing acidity that depresses the pH of the mine water. When the mine water re reaches the surface, a subsequent chemical reaction occurs, causing the metals to become visible and the mine water take on a copper hue. Cape Breton contains 3,200 kilometers of mines that have flooded or are in the process of flooding. That's roughly the distance between Halifax and Calgary. The flooded mine workings contain about 250 billion liters of anoxic contaminated with sulfuric acid, high levels of dissolved iron, and other heavy metals. As they flood, the mines discharge this water, potentially contaminating mine. Capturing drainage water from precipitation at the mine site through the use of liners and pipes and directing the water into dams in order to prevent potentially contaminated water from entering groundwater and flowing off the site. Within the shutdown of mining operations and end of active pumping, mines began to flood. The quality of rising water actively flooding mines typically is a low pH level and high sulfate and elasticity. Water management strategies are used to minimize the environmental impact of mining operations, and we are now at the heart of mine development operations and the relocation of activities. Now here is Marley and Becca with some pros and cons. For abandoned mines, stops mine water from polluting water, cleans contaminated water, and creates new jobs. A couple cons are that it could be expensive and that it would take a lot of time. Okay. Hello, my name is Justin Rutledge, and I'm here to talk about renewable energy sources in the Cabot Trail. Nice to meet you, Justin. Yes, welcome to Pig's Pen. So as you can see, wait, how much revenues did tourism in Cape Breton take into the past few years? Well, in 2014, the revenues went up by 13 million. I see. Carry on. Well, as, uh, well, as you can see here, Approximately half of all hotel rooms are being filled. So half of them are not being filled? Correct. Well, that is a problem. Yes, it is. Now, the Cab Trail is the number one scenic destination area on the island. Oh yes, I have been there before. It is quite the sight to behold. Well, I would like to increase the amount of people that come here. What is that? This is the amount of people that have come to Cape Breton over the past few years. As you can see, it is close to 136,000 from a study in 2011. Why exactly is that number so big? My guess would be from the steel plant and coal mines. Well, that could be a reason, but I'm here to make the Cabot Trail a reason for people to come here. 
I heard that the Cabot Trail is easily accessible by the land, air, and sea. Is that true? Yes, this makes the Cabot Trail easier to get to, meaning you can get there from almost anywhere. Were there any recent statistics about overnight visits in Nova Scotia? Well, as you can see, in 2011, overnight visits to Nova Scotia totaled close to 2 million. Oh. Wait, so how do most people get here in Nova Scotia? About 66% of the people arrive to the province by road. How much are you asking us to invest into this? Yes, we need to know what we're inv we are investing in. Well, you are going to invest in renewable energy sources at the Cabot Trail and hopefully get more tourists and more job opportunities to the island. I think we've got a deal. Yes, we will do what it takes to bring more people here and create more opportunities on this island. Rutledge and I had a lot of fun working on this project with my friends Gabriel and Ryan. I learned a lot about tourism and a lot about renewable energy sources at the Cabot Trail. My name is Gabriel Poloni and I really enjoyed doing this project and learned a lot about tourism in the Cabot Trail. Hello, I'm Ryan Gass and I learned about how ho all the hotels aren't being filled and this project was kind of hard but it was a lot of fun. What did you think of working together collaboratively? In this case there were five of you uh, for the last, uh, what it was over a two-week period, right? Yeah. 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 How, how, what did you think of the project? It was an interesting project. Right. Fun. 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 Well, okay. When you say fun, what do you mean by um, fun? It's like a lot better, I find, uh, working in a group rather than working by yourself because you have like more room to talk to each other and more ideas instead of just your own. Okay. Now, uh, what was uh, your what was the, your project? What was the title of it? What, were you, what was your what were you trying to answer? Uh, the Duncan Coal Mine. It was about the Duncan Coal Mine. Uh, so, so you were trying to look at it in terms of being viable? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. So, do you think it was better working as a group to try to solve the problem rather than have a teacher standing up in front of the classroom? Yeah. Working yeah. Yeah. better as a group, working yeah. together as a group. Why? You don't realize what p teachers don't say, what is on the internet, like, there's a lot more information to the link. That's available? That's available. Okay. So, uh, would you recommend this type of learning activity? In other words, would you like to participate in more hands-on collaborative work? Yeah, 100%. 100%? Yeah. Right. So you don't think you missed out on anything? No. no. Okay. You thought you gained? Yeah. Okay. Any ideas, thoughts, closing comments? Well, we learned a lot from this project. Just okay. online now. Okay. Just an overall great experience. Okay. Great. Thanks, guys. Um, so what we'll do is... I just have a couple questions. Uh, your group, you had a group of what, five? Yeah. 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 And uh, we were working on a project for uh, two weeks. What was your, um, what was the question or what were you trying to answer in your quest, in your project? Uh, but uh, why you invest in the Cape Breton music industry? Oh, Cape Breton music industry, okay. Uh, that was certainly an interesting uh, topic. What were your overall impressions of working together as a group? It was funner than working in a class by yourself. It's fun to be with your friends and search up information. Well, huh. so do, do you think you answered the question better working as a group rather than, let's say, having the teacher up in front of the room running the show? Better working as a group. Really? Yeah. Okay. Did you have any problems getting research, finding no. nothing? No. Um, overall, would if you had the choice, would you prefer to do another project along this line? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you would. Yeah, sure. Where do you think you could apply it to? To what? Uh, do it a lot of things. Anything in science. Science. Social. So, if if would you like to do it all year? Yeah. 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 Oh, really? But here, would, do you think you'd be off task a bit if you did it all year? Yeah. Well, well yeah. Well, just like half and half, maybe. Is that right? Yeah. Like a 50-50 mixture? 
Yeah. If we continue to do it, like being with your friends, you could probably fall off task pretty easily. Right. So. But you think for the two weeks, you guys were on task and you, and you, yeah. you answered your question? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Any last impressions, ideas, suggestions? Because you you were the only you were the group in in Cape Breton that did this. You guys were a pilot project, and and, and they may try to introduce it more at different grade levels. So overall, you were pleased with it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, guys. Oh. Yeah. Um, anyway, I'll tell you we we're, what we're doing is we're finishing up our our, our project. Okay. Uh, and what we want to do is to get uh, a sense. Of, of of kind of how you felt about doing like the project, okay? So you were you were working for two weeks as as a group of four, right? Uh, what was your what was your project? What were you trying to answer? What was the question you were trying to answer? Uh, the benefits of mine water management. Of, of uh, mine water management, the benefits and what else? The the what? Career opportunities involved in it. Yeah. So, do you? Would you say did you enjoy working two weeks as a group? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Well, we're friends. Yeah. <laughs> right. It was a it was a nice um, opportunity to um, make something better and like um, to influence our. Like, like we we had to give our our ideas to right. what we wanted for yeah. like right. our future. And right. Like, Okay, I got that. So, one of the underlying questions I, I thought about as a teacher, uh, did you think you gained from working collaboratively, collaboratively uh, as a group rather than have the teacher up in front of the class yeah. Yeah. more or less yeah. dictate? Yeah. yeah. You did? Because we yeah. weren't told. We got to bring what we wanted to. You know, like to, to, okay, we excellent, got, yeah. We got to find out what we wanted to. Good. Yeah. So would you recommend down the road or would you like to participate in more of, of this type of project? Yeah. yeah. You see the benefits? Yeah. Okay. So is there like a kind of a, what kind of let's say ratio would you like? Let's say that, that type of project or having the teacher. Do you think you could do it all year round as a, as a, as a group? Um, maybe once in a while, not right. all the time. That was a really good answer, and the bell rang right in the yeah. middle of it, sir. <laughs> so you would do it again? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Any suggestions to change it? Uh, more of an outline. Uh, yeah. We, we want to bring our own ideas, but right. we need a little bit of an outline just so we don't go out of the outline without being like... Okay. Um, that's nice. very... Yeah. That's, that's a good idea. So a, a little bit more structured so that yeah. you know what boundaries are set. Yeah. When we were told to do this, we kind of didn't know what we were being told. Right. Okay. That's fair. Okay. Thank you, guys. Now, uh, can you do me a favor when you go back? What other groups are there? Can we, we'll, get, we'll go back and get them. Okay. Now, what we want to do is to kind of get your, your feedback on the project. Okay. You were working for two weeks as a group. Of, actually, we were missing a few here. Uh, what was your topic? What was the question that you were answering? Mine water mining. Mine water management. Mind water management. Yeah. Okay. So you worked for two weeks as a group collaboratively. What are your impressions on working as a group? It was good. It was good? Yeah. It's we learned, I think we yeah, learned a lot about each other, just like our work, work ethic and everything like that. Okay. Yeah. And did, you, did you answer the question? Mind, like my management. Yeah. 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 Um, do you think? Uh, do you think that you would like to do more projects working as a group? Yeah. yeah. So what would the what do you think the benefits are working as a group versus having the teacher directed up in front of the class? Um, more ideas, I think, than just one person would have. If you were doing a project alone, it would just be yours, but with right. everyone in a group, you get to put all the ideas together to make something even better. Uh -huh. so. Excellent, right. Yeah. So, would you recommend, or would you like to do uh, a project like this again? Yeah. 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 You would? Yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. Thanks, guys.
That was it. <laughs> Get uh, your impressions, your feelings about the project. Okay. What was uh, your topic? What was your your question that you were answering? What was your what was your idea that you were doing your research on? Uh, renewable energy sources in the Cabot Trail. Oh, okay. Very interesting. So the <clears throat> would you say that working that you preferred working as a group? Yeah, yeah. You did. So what do you think some of the benefits were? Of, of working together rather than let's say having the teacher direct the class in front in the front of the classroom. Uh, but yeah, I guess we have more opinions. More opinions? Yeah. Okay. Anything, fellows? What would you say? What do you think some of the benefits were? Not having to like stand in front of like the whole class and research. Okay. Did you did you think you guys came up with some? let's say some ideas, let's say that you probably wouldn't get in a regular classroom setting? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I guess. Okay. So, would you like to do another project along this line? Don't know? Okay, that's I, fair. I may offer a comment on this group too yes. because uh, they self-corrected right in the middle of their program. They saw where they weren't getting into where they wanted to, so okay. they changed direction. And as a group, that okay, it was interesting for them to do. Yeah, but th and that's fine. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay. Thanks, guys. I think we got all the groups, sir. Mm -hmm.